welcome to your daily tarot for Friday 23rd of November 2018. The chevrons are back, <laughs> it's really cold, I couldn't help myself, I know it's a bit batshit crazy but the jumper is back on. Valley Bobs is here, enjoying a wash as usual, getting herself together. Okay, full moon in Gemini, lovely jubbly. I will read to you a short bit from the Astro Moon Diary, just because it's so damn nice. The sun's own entry into Sagittarius on the 22nd is met by Mercury and celebrated by a festive full moon. This forms a glowing magnetic core to the planetary pattern whose like is seen only once every 12 years, people. Once every 12 years. It's a time of fortunate opportunity to revision direction and meaning. Have faith. Explore the new horizon that is currently igniting your enthusiasm. I love it. I love it. Now, I would say as well, and this is just my little astrological take from God knows where, is I always find Gemini full moons to be quite blabby. A little bit blabby chatty, but in a good way, you know. Because some moving into Sagittarius, Jupiter's in Sagittarius, it's all a bit, it's all a bit kind of, <laughs> it's everything to play for is the energy I'm getting. You know, Jupiter in itself, I love the energy of Jupiter. I love the energy of Sagittarius as well. I'm wearing the chevrons, you know. Everything to Just play. As I say that, the battery dies on my camera. Lovely, jubbly. Everything's playful, people. I'm getting the herbal tarot out today again. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my lord. Right, okay. Ooh. There's some quite springy. Oh, beautiful. Whew, okay. The herbal tarot is not normally this demanding, I have to say. And yes, different tarot decks do appear to me in different ways. As in they do, um, the cards do pop out in different ways. Okay. This is a very interesting energy. And I can't pronounce that herb. That sounds really interesting. Looks like cow parsley to me, but that's probably not even a herb. The Empress. What better? Fecundity herself, okay? Gestation, expansion, something which is very, very, very deeply held. The herb for this, people, Dong Kwai. Okay? <laughs> Answers on the postcard, please. Let me know. It actually looks like cow parsley to me. But nevertheless, herb or no herb, the Empress, Venus, Venus personified, getting emboldened in her going directness. And God, it feels like a relief, doesn't it? Doesn't it feel like a relief? It does to me. Okay. At the same time, big, big, dollops of karma knocking around this reading, okay? Six of cups in reverse. Some of you can't go back to something and you will find that you make that decision. I love the fact this is watermelon. And I'm not even gonna question how a watermelon is a herb because there's going to be an answer. I think it's to do with the plant that it grows in. Horticulturally, I'm a very limited person and you're probably noticing this. Six of Cups reversed, karma, childhood-y, nostalgia-y, going back type energy. Sometimes this just means that something you've been considering from childhood, from the past, from karma, you know, karma being a very broad base, you may just decide not on this full moon. I sometimes see full moons as putting a balloon on a tap like you used to do when you were a kid, you know, like a water bomb. And you put it on the tap and you switch the tap on and it goes and then eventually you would always slip and go and like send it all over the kitchen and then your mum would be really annoyed. 
I feel like it's that it breaks an idea it breaks a bond it breaks a, a hope in some cases this was a hope of going back and this has come up a lot in the readings recently sometimes the empress is harboring hope nevertheless you know this lovely lady she is in the upright she's the major arcana on the table it feels like whatever's kind of growing is still good and it probably benefits in terms you know we're doing the tur the turbo harrow in terms of pruning i suppose something's getting pruned with this full moon but it doesn't half make the plant grow bigger that's what i'm trying to say Whew. succinct gemma justice in the reverse plantain justice in the reverse this has come up a few times it, again, justice in the reverse for me is karma. Really love this version of justice. She's left a sword by the tree over here and she's kind of got the crystal ball and she's got the scales and the red riding hood cloak. And she just appears in the wood, you know, betwixt the trees. I love it. Now, when it's in the reverse, it just feels like what's not for you will go by you and i think you understand i think we understand that concept it's it floats by like a dream of what could have been and it has been hanging around for a while and it may have been a strangely comforting thought but at the same time other things are being born here other things are being born out here now, very interestingly, what an amazing rendition of that. The Eight of Swords, don't restrict your horizon. You know how the Two and the Three of Wands has come up loads recently? Don't restrict your horizon to looking backwards. The thing that's always interesting, and the herb for this, which I cannot pronounce either, I'm going to learn loads about herbs, Black Cohosh, looks like a nettle. I'm assuming, now correct me if I'm wrong, that because it's the Eight of Swords, this is a bindweed type plant that strangles things. We will see. Notice the blindfold on the Eight of Swords. I always think this is worth a notice because sometimes, as in Tiresias, the blind prophet, sometimes when you can't see, you see the best. You know, you're forced inside yourself. You're forced to look at things. There's a lot of that going on at the moment. And there's also a certain sense of impatience during this retrograde period. There's always a sense of impatience to get on with it, to bring it on, you know, because Sagittarius, Jupiter in Sagittarius, we're in Sun in Sagittarius. It's that whole, I can, you know, it's the globe trotter mentality, two of wands, you know, with the globe and looking over the horizon and lo this could all be mine and i you know i've got my intrepid feet going and i feel like it and i can just state ideas and i want to birth them and i want to be in the world all of that stuff and it's all available just not quite yet page of pentacles in reverse how often does the page of pentacles appear in my daily readings a lot now i thought that said blue hag but it does <laughs> it says blue flag okay that's nice she's got her little trowel and her fork there as well i remember enthusiastically buying those things for my son when he was little and thinking that we do loads of gardening we did not do much gardening <laughs> that reminds me of a philip larkin poem as well can't say it on youtube f-u-c-k they F you up, your mum and dad. They do not mean to, but they do. They give you all the faults they had and add a couple just for you. I passed on my, my completely inept inability to garden to my son so far. Hopefully he can learn it from someone else. Blue flag, not blue hag. Or is it blue hag? No, blue flag. Page of pentacles in reverse, people. It's always a feeling of impatience. But looky here, looky here, and this has to be one of my favourites, plant-wise and also, 
you know, card-wise, Ace of Cups, zippity doo of the cup cards. Love it. I love a lotus flower as well. Absolutely love it. It's big, but it's new. It feels like next year. Aces for me are normally next year or a year hence, okay? Love the dove. Just love the whole thing. Love the opening of the lotus. It goes with the empress really well. There are things to come out of this. Now, do I want one of these? No, I want one of those. There are things to come out of this we're not really aware of. Eight of Swords, Blindfold. But, you know, not being aware is sometimes a delicious thing. We find it hard as humans because I suppose at the moment that information is power and being aware and sharing information and things like that are considered to be a prize. But also, so is keeping your own counsel. That's what I feel like it is. Keeping your own counsel. And look, the flamingo, and I always call it, I know it's a crown, but for me, of course, it's a tiara. Between worlds, we are. We're right down the middle. We're right there. I love a flamingo. How can you not? How can you not love a flamingo? It's genius wearing a kind of tiara crown. Healing with the Angel's Oracle card, Serenity. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. Keeping your own counsel. Taking the rough with the smooth and just having faith that something good is coming, okay? Leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonates. Do like, share and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.